Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at this life-size Game Boy alarm clock. So I saw this the other day on Amazon for £20. Now it is an original Game Boy shaped alarm clock and it says that it's uh, a Nintendo product which down here at the bottom it says um, an official licensed Nintendo product although it seems to be made by this uh, Paladin, Palad, Paladone guys. Um, so that got me really excited. I've decided I'd order it and see what's actually inside the, uh, the console. Well, so it's not really a console but see what's inside the alarm clock itself and see if the insides of the um, of the Game Boy clock are similar to an official Game Boy. Now you guys know that I'm not allowed scissors, so I've recently picked up these brand new scissors here just to um, you know cut this this box open here. I'm really really excited about these scissors, guys. So um, I hope you can feel my excitement. So let's go ahead and check out what this thing is like. Then I mean, there's not a lot going on in the box. It looks like it's got a backlight. It says makes official Super Mario Land. Um, alarm sounds so brilliant and here it is wow okay so immediately it looks a lot thicker than a uh, than a Game Boy I don't know if you can see that there but we'll have a look at that more in just a moment so Nintendo Game Boy alarm clock instructions I mean it's just gonna be an alarm clock really isn't it although they've definitely made that look quite confusing but let's put that to one side and peel off the uh, screen protector lens. Oh, looks like I lifted up the actual screen lens there. That's not ideal. Power switch isn't on the top. That's a little bit disappointing. Nothing on the back or the bottom. There's some battery parts on the side here. Doesn't seem like there's any way to turn it on. Maybe we need to put batteries in it. Ah, uh, yes. We need to put two AA batteries in there. Uh, it looks like it's going to be quite easy to open up as well. I'm a little bit disappointed that it's um, that it's not like a one-on-one -on -one scale kind of replica. I feel like they definitely could have done that, um, but obviously they have chosen not to. So let's go ahead and put our double A's in here. Two double A's is quite a lot of battery. I guess that makes it last for quite a while. It's an alarm clock. You don't want to keep changing the batteries in it and everything. Okay, there we go. Oh. So the screen's lit up from the bottom, which is a bit disappointing because this is like a really nice kind of backlight looking thing, but and when you press the button, it illuminates it each time. So the buttons, I mean, I know it's not actually a, um, a Game Boy or anything like that, but the buttons feel quite horrible to press, actually. Quite, uh, quite tough to press, but that is not really a big deal. Start and select are completely fake. So what we're going to do is take it apart and see what's inside. Again, as I mentioned before, I'm a little bit disappointed that you know they haven't tried to make it even look slightly like the uh, actual... Well, it, obviously it looks exactly like the original Game Boy. This isn't really a good example to show you. This is my recently modded Mega Duck Game Boy. But it gives you an idea of the thickness being very, very off. The height-wise, it's pretty good. The buttons are all the same size, the D-pad, etc. It looks really, really good, to be honest with you. Just looks like a backlit, backlit um, Game Boy, but the size is very off. It's a shame that there isn't a power button on the top. And uh, these, this, these stands. Oh, they do actually go off. There we go. So you can actually um, take them off and set it down um, if you so desire. And um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead then and um, just disassemble it. Wow. So the speaker is actually, well, obviously the speaker's got to be in, in a similar place, but the speaker is very, very similar to that of an original console. But the rest of the insides of this is very, very, very different indeed. I'm sure someone could probably mod this if they so desired to make this into an actual functioning Game Boy. I don't really know why you do that because it's an alarm clock and there's no benefit of using this shell because nothing fits and you can buy a replacement shell, shell for cheaper than than this. I just thought this would be an interesting video um, to kind of take it apart. Obviously we've taken so many Game Boys apart on this channel that by now you guys probably needn't 
ever question what is inside a Game Boy. So the button membranes are, we'll, we'll, we'll take the rest of it apart and I'll show you. Okay, we're not gonna be able to take the speaker out because it's actually soldered, like compressed, um, sorry, like the sol a soldering iron has been touched up against it to bind the plastic together. So there's the buttons, uh, they're pretty similar. That looks like a little pair of uh, cherries. They're a lot thinner than an actual DMG button, so you wouldn't be able to put your own buttons in there. Um, don't know where the D-pad just went, just flew off. We've lost the D-pad. Oh, the D-pad was here the whole time, guys. The bottom board is uh, very, very similar to what you know to what I'd expect. The top board looks exactly similar to what I'd expect. Um, there's the backlight panel down at the bottom there. Everything actually lifts off in this kind of modular design. Backlight panels down there, or well, it's not really a backlight, is it? It's a front light panel with a diffuser, uh, which doesn't really fully diffuse the light. But I imagine in the dark, it's probably very effective. I'm no uh, tech wizard when it comes to components of um, electronics, but correct me if I'm wrong, that little uh, metal thing right there is um, is the clock. It's quite an interesting product. As I said, there's not really a lot um, to talk about though, because it's obviously it's just, you know, a, a light, cheap plastic Game Boy sh kind of shell. For 20 quid though, it's a nice um, present for someone or if you're you know, your desk at work or something like that, or beside your bed if you need an alarm, but most people are gonna have alarms on their phones these days, so it's more of kind of like a desk display piece for a bit of a tech enthusiast. But um, nonetheless, this has been quite interesting for me. All right, and there we go. If I turn these lights off, we we'll might be able to get a better look at this, uh, this screen, see if it displays any better. No, not really. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.